the number of city police officers decreased by 5% to 1,140 from 2011 to 2012. What is the number of police officers that were originally in the city in 2011? Since this is a percent decrease, one way we could solve this problem is to set up a diagram. If that re represents our whole, our 100%, that would be given by our 2011 value, our original value, which is unknown. We now know that the population decreased 5% to give us our 2012 value. So if we took away 5%, we would get our value of police officers as 1,140. What we would realize, since we decreased by 5%, that our 2012 value represents 95% of the 2011 value, or 95% of their original value. One way we can solve this is now set up a proportional statement. We have 95% or 95 over 100 should be the same as our 2012 value over our original value, which we don't know, which is our 2011 value, so I will call that x, where x is equal to the number of police officers in 2011. One way that I can solve this problem is I can recognize that 95 divided by 100 is that decimal 0.95. That's still equal to 1,140 divided by x, or the number of police officers in 2011. Multiplying both sides by x, we get this equation, 0.95x, is equal to 1,140. Let's take a moment to investigate this equation. Remember we knew that our 2012 value was 95% of our 2011 value. Therefore, we know that 95% of our 2011 value, or 95% of x, is equal to 1,140, which is what our equation tells us. To, in order to solve for x, we can now divide both sides by 0.95. And in doing so, we will see that x is equal to 1,200. That was the number of police officers in 2011. We can now check our work. We can verify a 5% decrease. So let's take 5% of two, our 2011 value, or 5% of 1,200. 5% of 1,200 would give us a decrease of 60 police officers. Therefore, if we took our 2011 value of 1,200, minus 60, that would give us our 2012 value, which is indeed 1,140. Therefore, verifying that 1,200 is the number of police officers in this city in 2011.